morning. So as you can see, I'm not at work. <laughs> Before I went to bed last night, and I said like I had all that pain in my hips and my pelvis, oh, I felt really odd. And then I woke up this morning, and I was so nauseous. Like, oh, I just thought I was going to vomit. <laughs> So yeah, I've got a bit of a tummy thing, I think. So I lay down on the couch. What's the time now? I lay down on the couch and I was watching some podcasts. And I fell asleep. And I've woken up. I've just had a shower. I think it's... It's nearly quarter past ten in the morning. So I've had a few hours sleep. And I feel a little bit better, but I still feel really strange. I just got really exhausted. Um, so yeah, there's bugs going around everywhere. It's a bit gutted. I really enjoy the um, athletics day. It's a lot of fun. So I'm going to get that linen that I was telling you about yesterday. I'm going to lay it down on the carpet here. I'm going to lay that pattern out and chop that out and then I'll bring those other fabrics in from the line and press those. Um, but I'll just see how I go and then I'll, maybe I'll do a little bit of housework if I feel up to it. I mean, I'm off work because I'm ill not to catch up with housework so we'll see how we go. So yeah, I'll show you how I lay, lay out my fabric. <laughs> Fun. Right, so I've cut these out. You can see all the little bits on the floor from cutting out the notches. Um, I'm just going to show you so the sleeve <coughs> so I've cut out the biggest size. It's not it's not a size inclusive pattern at all. I mean I'm probably 14 on top, 16 on bottom and I've put the sleeve cap around my arm, just the paper bit, and it was a bit snug. And obviously fabric is not as snug. But so what I've done is I've extended out the bottom, the side seams, if you can see there. Because when you alter a sleeve, it can be quite fiddly. I could have cut the pattern piece up here and then just and left it joined at the top and pulled it out like that um i don't know why i didn't do, do that probably because i don't feel well um but you can't extend out here too far because it has the side has got to fit in here okay and it won't because if you extend out there so i've done that and I'll see what it looks like because I can always just then just take the seam back down here if if it's fine. So yeah, I've done that. I'm going to go and get those bits of fabric off the line, at least press those. I still don't feel very good. Um, yeah, but, you know, I just can't sit still. I really should probably just knit, but yeah, I've got things to do, people.
right, here you go. Homemade pizzas for Friday night. Two for Evan and one each for me and Jess. So they just gotta wait for the oven to heat up and then then they're away. It's ten past six in, in the evening. Right, clean up the kitchen time now. Morning, morning. It's supposed to be a lovely day today. So I have started to clean the squab from our couch. So I'll give that five minutes for the stuff to work. And then I will um yeah, suck it up and then do the other side. That's better, my phone was full. <laughs> um, so I have cleaned the squab and then I have done just in front of the couch and over here. So I bought this rug that I'm pointing at with my foot um, because we don't have a dinner table so we eat our tea at the couch and invariably you always end up with a bit of food or spillage on the floor. And I always figured that the rug was easier to clean than the carpet. But then in frustration, I pulled the carpet, this rug out, because after a year or two, because I was just getting annoyed, it gets, when you walk through there, um, it gets all rumpled up. And I hate rumpled up, see, see how that bit's there? <laughs> um, and yeah, the floor got really grotty, so um, I covered it up with the rug. <laughs> So now I've cleaned it, I'll just pull the rug back over. I'm not going to take the rug. It's, it's a good way of protecting the carpet. I actually like to clean the carpet once a year. But the last time I did it was two years ago in January. will be two years ago when I hired a rug cleaner, a carpet cleaner to clean mum's house up after we sold it. And... Um, and then I brought it back here and, and did our carpet. So it is overdue for a big clean, but this this will tide us over. It's fine. It's good. So, I mean, we've only got the lounge and the little hallway between the bedrooms. And then all the bedrooms in the kitchen and the bathroom are all hard floors. So, yeah. So even though it's a lovely day, it's really gusty outside, and I don't like gusty. If anyone knows Ayurvedic, Ayurveda, 
Oh, I'm actually um, uh, Vata, which is air and space. And people who are Vata don't do so well in the wind. And um, when I found that out, it just all clicked for me because I like, I've always got really irritable in the wind. I know you're just slipping down at the car park. I should really just turn the phone around. Yes, yeah, so, so they have... I can't remember the term for it. It's like a constitution that you're born with. And um, so vata is like air and space. Then you've got kapha, which is um, like water and earth type things. It's quite a heavy thing. Um, and then um, pitta, which is fire and what's the other thing? It could have been water as well. I'm not sure. Can't remember. And most people have a little bit of these in their constitution, but you have a dominant. And then some of those things can be out of balance too. So, yeah, it's really interesting, but I just found it just got too much for me to try and absorb it all in my state that I was in. So, you look a mess. I've just had a shower. Oh, I had a shower about an hour ago, but my hair's still wet. So I don't have a hell of a lot to do inside. So I might see what this wind does. It looks a little bit cloudy over there, but it's not supposed to really rain. It's supposed to maybe rain in the ranges, but be pretty much a nice fine day. But I'd like to do some sewing. So I might go and open up the windows in the sewing room. Sorry, I keep looking that way. Um... Open up the windows in the sewing room and have a little play around. What just arrived in the mail? <laughs> How exciting. We'll have a look at that a little bit later. I'm still sewing. Just attaching the the mid skirt to the, the skirts and two panels. So I'm attaching the midsection to the body, and to the top, and then I'll construct the bottom, put that on, and then it'll be done. The hard stuff's done, that's the sleeves and the, bi the bias binding around the neck and the sleeves and the pocket construction and stuff. So now it's pretty plain sailing. Here you go, people. We are finished. If I do it that way. You can see it's got side pockets. Really happy with that and I'm glad I, I extended that sleeve pattern because I have got quite beefy upper arms <laughs> on my face. Look at my hair. What a mess. But yeah, I'm really happy with that. Got my little tag on the side. You can't buy this. But it's really lovely. Happy, happy, happy. It does look a little bit sheer, but I should be all right. <laughs> Give people a throw. I usually, in the summer, I usually wear bike shorts under dresses because I don't like that hot, sweaty thigh rub you get when, you've, when your thighs meet. <laughs> so, yeah. Happy, happy with that. Um, hopefully you can see that all right. Golden syrup pudding and ice, vanilla ice cream. Jess made it. 
We also had chicken curry and rice for tea. So that's me for the night. Catch you tomorrow.